Hello everyone and welcome to the Montego Bay Sports Complex. It's match day. I'm your match commentator for the day, Lance White. And today we've got an international friendly for you. The Reggae Boys will be taking on Bermuda. The Reggae Boys squad is made up completely of local base players today. So a lot of local talent will be getting a chance to impress the coach ahead of the World Cup qualifiers later this year. Promises to be a very exciting match. Uh, some very talented players to look out for in this local based squad. Players such as Lamar Walker and also Kemar Beckford who have been very, you know, on really good form throughout the season. Jamaica sporting their gold strip and Bermuda in a pink outfit. Now we await the national anthems of both teams. First, we'll have the national anthem of Bermuda. Again, I'd just like to welcome you guys to this international friendly match between the Reggae Boys and Bermuda. You're watching GFF TV, the home of reggae football. I'm your match commentator for today, Lance White, and I'll be flying solo. We're just moments away from kickoff, so let's have a quick run through of the lineups. Starting in goal for the home team, it's Akeem Chambers between the sticks for the Reggae Boys. The rest of the lineup sees uh, Captain Fabian McCarthy, 
in defense. He will play alongside Oladale Ritchie, Ricardo Thomas, and the rest of the lineup sees Lamar Walker, the man from Port Moray United who is in hot form. Also in the lineup is Andre Clennon, Jordan Fletcher of Mount Pleasant, Kimor Beckford, also of Mount Pleasant, Peter Lee Vassell, a Johnny Talbot who will be playing alongside Ladale Ritchie in the heart of the defense for the Jamaicans. Also in the starting lineup is Kevon Isaacs. That rounds up the starting lineup for the Jamaicans. On the bench we have Dennis Taylor, Siobhan Marsh, Andre Fletcher, Javoy Bell Nevis, Colorado Murray, Ronaldo Wellington, Kemal Malcolm, and Joshon Angling. For the away side, the Bermudans have Taj Bell in goal. The rest of the lineup sees Eusebio Blankendall, Jalon Pather, Dante Brangman, Jonte Smith, Sequoia Robinson, the captain, Willie Clemens, Osage Bascom, Taziko Harris, Jakari Furbert, and Reginald Lamb. Those are the teams for this evening today at the Montego Bay Sports Complex here in Catherine Hall. We're set for a 7 p.m. kickoff. Just about a minute past seven now, and both teams ready to go. The Jamaicans having a final huddle, saying a word of prayer before the kickoff. Referee for today is Rubiel Vasquez. It's a cool evening here in Montego Bay. Um, good conditions for football. As I stated earlier, it's a contingent of our local based players. So the coach Theodore Whitmore giving the local based players a chance to impress before um, the World Cup qualifiers kick off later this year. And we kick off here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex with Bermuda kicking from right to left in this first half in their pink tops. There are boys sporting their gold tops. So they'll be kicking from left to right in the first half. Bermudans enjoying a little bit of possession early in the first half before they give the ball away to the Jamaicans. Now the ja it's the Jamaicans' time to try and establish a passing rhythm early in this first half. And on the ball is Ajani Talbot who finds Lamar Walker. Now Fabian McCarthy. McCarthy playing at right back this evening. Also wears the captain's armband. Nice pass into the midfield from Talbot to find Walker. It's Jordan Fletcher. And the chase is on by Ricardo Thomas to keep that win on one in on the far side. He does. And the Jamaicans retain possession. The reggae boys just trying to establish a passing rhythm here early in this first half. And still, the reggae boys in possession. Lamar Walker spreads it wide to Fabian McCarthy. Jordan Fletcher coming in on his left foot. Favors that left foot. Does find Peter Lee Vassell. Now out to Ricardo Thomas. Thomas, nice flick inside to Vassal. Ball played through. Oh, that one took a touch and he does keep it in. Cross comes in, looking for Jordan Fletcher at the back post. It's headed out by the Bermudans. Now the counter attack is on. The Bermudan is in acres of space on the right hand side. He doesn't see him. Ball played through. This is a promising position for Bermuda, but that's stout defending from Ajani Talbot to snuff out the danger. Bermudans had a promising counter-attack just now, and the Jamaicans did well to get back. Still Bermuda in possession as they have a throw in here. think that whistle and the play signals a free kick to the Jamaicans so the pressure is relieved free kick taken quickly and it's Peter Lee Vassal who comes all the way back to collect position 
Vasa likes to play from deep and dictates the tempo of play, spreading passes from deep. And that's a risky back pass. The chase was on by the Jamaican striker. And it's Andre Clennon who is spearheading the attack for the Jamaicans this evening in the number nine jersey. Over on the left-hand side, flanking him is Kemar Beckford, who is in red-hot form for Mount Pleasant. Um, he scored 14 goals in the Red Star Premier League this season. Mount Pleasant sitting second in the Premier League table behind Waterhouse. Uh, let's see if he can transfer that form um, into the national team. He's been in red-hot form and fans have been calling for him to get a chance at the senior level for some time. He's gotten his chance now, you know, given the start by coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore. So hopefully he can grab this chance with both hands and continue his great goal scoring form. Ball spread forward looking for Andre Clennon by Talbot. It's defended well by the Bermudan defense. So it's a throw into Jamaica. This is Kevon Isaacs. Spreads it out wide to Thomas. Isaac again on the ball. Thought about switching the play. What's the right hand side to McCarthy just now? Opted to go to Talbot. Fletcher with a nice ball in field to find Lamar Walker. Lamar Walker almost losing all position there. I think that's a foul on Thomas. Nice little flick to win back position. The Jamaicans just kind of dominating position in these early stages of the game. I think we can expect to see that sort of trend throughout this game. Um, Jamaica playing at home will want to. This looks like it will break. And it does break wide. And it's Kemar Beckford. Swings in the cross. Header on. Oh, just wide by Andre Clennon. That was lovely play from the Jamaicans. Starting with Walker feeding it into the path of Beckford who clipped in a brilliant cross and met expertly by Andre Clennon. Just shaving the right upright. The Jamaicans come close early in this friendly between Bermuda. It's a bright start for the Jamaicans. Bermuda now in possession as it's number 17, uh, Jakari Fubert, who is tussling with Andre or Jordan Fletcher, rather, who does win back possession for the Jamaicans. Nice work from Andre Clennon. That was beautiful. The touch and the pass. And he springs Jamaica into attack. Now it's Kemar Beckford trying to play in Lamar Walker. Walker does get there. He swings it in. It's Peter Lee Vassal. That's a heavy touch. Oh, he should have taken it. He should have taken it on the first on the first attempt. I don't know why he took a touch. He should have just had the shot with the first touch. I don't know why he opted to go. He tried to control it when it was set up perfectly for him to have a one-time shot. I think that one can go down as a chance, but the ball still isn't cleared yet. Breaks into the box and referee bails out the Bermudans. A brilliant passage of play from the Jamaicans. Vassal getting that one on a platter, but you know, passing it up. Good early signs here from the Jamaicans. Playing some good, creative, attacking football. Very attractive. Bermuda looking for that run down the right hand side is Ladale Richie who goes across the map up taken down by Kemar Beckford nice feet there the Jamaicans trying to play their way out of trouble and are closed down by the Bermudas it's a throw into the Jamaicans over on that far side Talbot coming forward for 
Jamaica, he finds Vassal. Now it's McCarthy. Johnny Talbot, the Harbour View defender. Isaacs operating in that deep line midfield role for the Jamaicans. Nice move from Vassal to get away from the Bermudans. There's a Bermudan player down on the, on the field. McCarthy trying to clip that one in for Clennon. Clennon really hustling. A very strong player. He strong challenge there to win the header from Adil Ritchie. They were saying Clennon looks a really strong player. Another one getting his chance here today to impress the coach. Bright start from him so far, almost getting the opening goal. And the ball now for Bermuda is... Bermuda enjoying what I think is their longest spell of possession since the match has started. Putting together about 10 passes so far. Now they go long. Go long and they lose possession. Possession back with the Jamaicans now. Kevon Isaacs of Mount Pleasant operating in that deep line midfield role as he does so well um, today playing as the holding midfielder, just shielding the defence. Peter Lee also playing ahead of him in a more advanced position. And Lamar Walker in the hole to provide a more creative spark. Jamaicans are spreading around the position now, trying to apply a composed build up and that one looking for Ricardo Thomas on the far side but too much on that one for too much on that one rather from Nadia Lurchie Talbot who comes across to complete the clearance. <coughs> that one a bit behind it. The number 11 Clemens of number 17, rather, it's Fer Ferber, rather. Uh, he couldn't keep it in play, and he does go out for a throw into the Jamaicans who take it very quickly and uh, in the same breath give back position to Bermuda. So it's a throw into them, the Bermudans, on this near side. And the ball is number three, Black Kendall. Pass infield from Clemens. Bermuda looking to break down this Jamaican defense. It's Blanc Kendall again. Blanc Kendall seeing a lot of position over on this left hand side. That one clipped in looking for one. Oh, it breaks kindly for him. Cross is blocked by Johnny Talbot. Good defending. And he just G's up his defense and tells them to get their head back in the game. That attack was looking promising for the Jamaica, for the Bermudans rather. And they do win a corner kick. Something to build on here. First corner kick of the game. And it goes to the away side. It's taken short. Swung in. Met at the near post. Still in the danger area. It breaks. It comes to a Bermudan play. He's still looking to get off the shot. He does, but it's blocked. It breaks to the top again. Still Bermuda. Clipped in. Up. More up than away. Still in the danger zone. Jamaicans can't clear here. And the shot eventually is skewed wide. Jamaica having all sorts of trouble clearing that one just now. Couldn't get it away. Eventually, a shot comes in. A harmless one, but not very impressive defending there from the Jamaicans. Um, the boys... 
being tested for the first time in this match and didn't really they, they passed the test but not really with flying colors they don't want to do better um, when they come into question again so something to work on there overall they've been impressive in the early stages mostly so in the attacking third eh, as they look to build another attack but yeah, it goes out for a throw into Bermuda just about 15 minutes gone in the opening half here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in this international friendly. The reggae boys out of Jamaica playing against Bermuda. And it's not really a great turnout here today. Fans have come out to support their team. That's a great number, but I'm sure the boys will be very grateful for the support nonetheless, especially given the current situation in the country with the outbreak of the novel coronavirus a lot of people on edge but still fans are out to support their team and the reggae boys will want to give them a show for their loyalty and commitment it's walker who loses out possession bermuda charging forward promising looking counter attack but good recovery from ladiel richie Lamar Walker can come forward. He has runs in front of him. He finds Jordan Fletcher. Fletcher trying to play the one-two with Walker, but intercepted yet again. Now it's Blank, Blank Kendall who will bring forward, and he plays it off to Smith. And Kendall making a good run down the left hand side to Snow, but it was ignored by Clemens. Bermuda just spread it, spreading it around in the defense. Well, that's a loose touch. Clemens was alert. Andre Clemens was alert, almost nipped in. He would have had a clean run through and goal. That's a good run from. Oh! Wow! That was close. Just an electric turn of pace and he was off and then he let fly and that left footed shot just grazing the top of the crossbar a warning shot that from the Bermudans that one coming out of nowhere if that went in it would have been a stunner completely against Renov I want this a loose back pass from from Ladale Ritchie putting Akeem Chambers in all sorts of trouble the Jamaicans have some work to do to play their way out of this one <laughs> still that was a nervy moment there from the Jamaicans and Ajani Talbot trying to link up with the goalkeeper to play. They were out of trouble there. Bermudans putting, them on, the, putting on the press and won the throw in, but Jamaicans quickly win it back. And now it's the Jamaicans who are in attack. It's end to end stuff. It's Lamar Walker, still Walker. Nice move to get by his defender. Cuts it back. Timely block by the Bermudan defender. And it's Asaji Bascombe. Crucial intervention there as it broke on the top of the area. And that would have been a clean shot on goal. Just a moment ago, um, the Bermudans almost scoring and now almost conceding. It's end-to-end -end stuff as it breaks on top for Peter Levasseur who tries the dink over the top for the runoff. Jordan Fletcher, but too much on that one and it goes through to the goalkeeper. Bell can restart the play with... Bather spreading it wide to his central defensive partner. Both of them just sharing the ball now. Anytime the Bermudans are in possession, most of it has been in their defensive third. Jamaicans putting on press high up the field and that's a searching pass looking for the run of the number nine Smith and he finds the play in space and that's a curling shot to the near post it's a soft one and easily dealt with by goalkeeper Akeem Chambers but you can see the game plan of the Bermudans here they pass it around in their defensive third the Jamaicans put on the press and then they try to bypass the press by going over the top of the Jamaican defense just catching out the 
Jamaican backline with that long through ball on one or two occasions thus far. Jamaicans playing a high defensive line. They'll have to keep a run they'll have to keep an eye on the runs being made by the Bermudans behind the back line as they are trying to exploit that space between the defensive line and the goalkeeper. Blanquendo with the throw in. That's a lovely switch from Bascombe. Step overs goes past the defender, shrugs him off. Nice play, and the cross comes in. It's met by the Bermudan still. And he'll have a shot that's a brilliant one. Clawed away by Akeem Chambers. And it's still Bermuda, blocked by Talbot. Oh, that was a brilliant shot on the edge of the area. For all the possession that the Jamaicans have had, and the chances, it's Bermuda who have come closest so far with a few good, good shots from range. That one stinging the palms of Akeem Chambers in goal. Couldn't hold on to it and spill it to the Bermuda and almost giving up the rebound. But it's defended eventually and goes out for a corner kick. The Jamaicans need to close down these spaces on top of the box as we see where the Bermudans can strike them from distance. This one is taking long, looking for the back post and the header. One at the back post by the central defender. Jamaica will resume play. Trying to play their way out from the back. They do so, and it's a loose touch from the Morocco. Ball. Andre Clennon is quickly onto it. It's Fletcher in now. Nice touch inside from Fletcher. Onto his left foot, and oh! He was just trying to guide that one into the far post after a lovely cut inside. It fell brilliantly for him, and it just went a fraction wide. That one set up perfectly for him on his favorite left foot but just couldn't guide it into that far corner another good chance for the Jamaicans both teams having good opportunities so far the Jamaicans carving out the better chances but probably Bermuda coming closer Jamaica carving out the better chances through the more creative and industrious play Bermuda just coming close through sheer guile catching the Jamaicans off guard. The Jamaicans need to be wary of that though because it just takes one sucker punch for them to go behind. Seem to have regained their composure now. Jamaica not abandoning their passing game plan. Persist in trying to play it out from the back and that one is another good ball looking for Clennon. Clennon with some lovely hold up play that number nine position so far playing as like a target man a very tall player Ricardo Thomas with a nice move and he got by his defender probably should have went for the cross opted for the shot and it's high and wide another shot that one not on target for the Jamaicans but not short of goal mouth action here in the first half with just around just over 20 minutes gone Hasn't been a dull affair thus far. Bascombe dropping back between his centre backs in that half back position to pick up possession. Oh, this is a back pass. Vasco putting on the pressure, forcing the goalkeeper Bell to go into a horrid clearance. It does fall to Bermuda. Stooping stop from Talbot and it's mopped up by Isaacs. Falls to Jordan Fletcher looking for that switch to Kemar Beckford, who is offside. Assistant referee on this near for on this near side raises his flag. Pass just coming a fraction late from Jordan Fletcher. Beckford was making a, a good run. 
was seen just a bit late by Jordan Fletcher. There's a player down for the Jamaicans who will be needing some attention. Player down is number 11, Jordan Fletcher. He's back on his feet now. He'll have to leave the field of play after receiving treatment so play can resume. We've seen a lot of goal mouth action in this in the early stages of this first half. Jamaica coming close yet to test the goalkeeper but coming very close on more than one occasion. Bermuda on the other hand have come close stinging the palms of goalkeeper Akeem Chambers and just shaving the crossbar. So both teams trying to get that go-ahead goal. Play resumes with Bermuda in possession and Jordan Fletcher has retaken the field of play. Jamaica back up to their full complement of players. It's Basco. Bascombe operating in that midfield position. You can see he's the one who dictates the tempo for them. Another long pass. That one looking for Ferbert. Just a bit long. Too much on that one from Bather. And he goes out into touch. Throwing to the Jamaicans. And the Bermudans appealing to the referee that that was a foul throwing but the referee says play on and Jamaicans oblige and now Amar Walker is in acres of space and he has the run of Jordan Fletcher wide Fletcher is in here has company though tries to cut back it just breaks still with Jordan Fletcher he was looking to cut that, cut that back one on top for Lamar Walker but just a bit too much on it Isaacs lets that one slip and that's a late challenge from Lamar Walker and the referee goes into his pocket instantly Bermudan players aren't happy. I think Lamar Walker knew that one was getting away from him and he tried to stop the play. If he can't get the ball, he got the man and he does get a yellow card for his troubles. Bermudan players weren't happy with that one. But the referee quickly steps into well the, the rising tempers and Lamar Walker will have to watch his step for the rest of this game after picking up that yellow card. It's a free kick to Bermuda and still a Bermudan player in dialogue with the referee. I think it's the number 11, Willie Clemens. Nice little roll there. Lamar Walker staying with him. Lamar Walker scored a brilliant goal for Portmore United against Yui on the weekend. Raced through on goal after getting past his defender and a sublime dink over the goalkeeper. World class finish. A very talented player. Let's hope. We'll see some of his attacking prowess throughout this match. Vassal bursts through and he plays it through. Oh, that one was behind the run of Kemar Beckford. He was making a brilliant run, but it went behind him. Couldn't adjust his run, and it goes, goes through to the goalkeeper, Bell. Beckford now on this right side. Ball played through for Beckford. It's a good ball. He'll get there. Cuts it back, and it's brilliantly intercepted by the defender. Taken quickly. Does come back to Peter Lee Vassal. Nice little ball inside. Nice turn from Jordan Fletcher. Still Fletcher. Gets it across. 
Good position shot, blocked. That one was Kemar Beckford. Jamaicans restarting play very quickly. Strong challenge there on Jardine Fletcher. You see John T. Smith just trying to isolate himself against Johnny Talbot there. He's up against Talbot again. That's a high boot from Talbot. Wins the ball. Referee says nothing doing. Good challenge from Talbot. But you can see Smith trying to isolate himself against Talbot because he thinks he has the height advantage. He's a very tall striker. And they're playing the balls towards him in the air. Hoping that he can win the aerial duels and get the knockdowns for the his teammates around him. There they go trying to hit him up in the air again. He does win the header this time against Talbot. You can see that's a ploy for the Bermudans. Cool bit of play there from Ladi Ritchie to get past the unrushing Bermudan player. Inside to Walker. Just a bit too much ahead of him. That one doesn't get to its intended target as it's a brilliant interception and brilliant interception to win back position by McCarthy who plays it off of the heel of Fletcher. But the Jamaicans do retain possession. Played in infield to Lamar Walker. Walker has the run of Ricardo Thomas wide. One two sees it back in the possession of Walker and the referee there's a whistle on the play. Every stops play, I think. There's an issue with the ball. A replacement summoned by the fourth official. Referee drops the new ball and we're back on the way. Hmm. Guess the ball couldn't stand up to the test, so early substitution for <laughs> the match ball in this first half. We're back on the way though as the Bermudans come forward with possession. Basco, he has a lot of space in the middle of the field here. They're not putting on pressure on him, the Jamaicans. That ball looking for the run wide. Of Robinson, but Ricardo Thomas goes across to complete the challenge and it goes out for a corner kick. And I think this will be the second corner kick of the game and it goes to Bermuda. Adding to their corner kick tally, let's see if they can make full use of this one. A lot of movement towards the corner kick taker, but he does go long. It's a good ball in. It breaks. The shot will come off. It's blocked. And the clearance completed by Andre Clennon, who is all the way back defending. Big switch. Looking for Bascombe. Nice work to shield that one out. And it's a throw into the Jamaicans. The Bermudians have been very stout so far and it's a nice switch for Fabian McCarthy we love the whipped in cross and it's met at the near post by uh, Jordan Fletcher did take a deflection so it will be a corner kick to the Jamaicans first corner kick of the game for the Jamaicans some good play 
we were seeing the Bermudians have stood very stoutly in defense. Another chance for Fabian McCarthy to whip that one in and it falls to, uh, at the top of the box to Peter Lee Vassi, but took too long on it and now it's a counter-attacking opportunity for the Bermudians. Smith just trying to cut inside uh, just now, but last of possession it was a good tracking. It was good tracking of the run from the Jamaican defense. Now they have another chance coming forward in numbers. He has the run to the right. He does use him. Now he makes a dart into the box, and that's a brilliant play. He made the pass, made the run into the box, and he received by the ball. I don't know if he wasn't expecting it to get back to him, but that was a brilliant play from Bermuda. No shot at the end, though, and the Jamaicans come forward, so I think they another scare there. It's Lamar Walker in possession for the Jamaicans now. Finds Peter Lee Vassal. Still Vassal. Now Walker. He has Kemar Beckford wide. Beckford on. Good tackle to keep Beckford at bay. And it's back with Walker. Bermudians very organized in their shape and the way how they defend. You can see the lines. It's another ball over the top looking for the runoff. Fabian McCarthy, the captain on the evening, but too much on that one. Go out. It will go out for a goal kick. But I was, as I was saying, when the, when the Jamaicans are in possession, you can see the lines, the defensive lines of the Bermudians. You have the back four. Another four in front of them in midfield and two in front of them. Very, very organized. Jamaica having fewer chances as the game goes on. Walker. Jamaicans will need more of those quick snappy passes and it's a shot from distance from Lamar Walker on his weaker left foot and that one won't trouble the goalkeeper. There you see that long ball again looking for Smith. Johnny Talbot has had his hands full so far this evening. Managed to come out on top against Smith so far. Peter Lee Vassal is currently without a club after being released by. LAFC in the MLS. Very talented player. Doubt he'll be a free agent for long. I'm sure a lot of clubs are seeking his services. And now it's a good run from Jordan Fletcher looking for the run of either Beckford or Clennon. But it's intercepted well by the Bermudian defense. Vassal loves to drop back deep and collect possession from the defense. Start the attacking movement from deep. A real playmaker. Looking for that run off Andre Clennon. Brilliant ball, but the defender sticks with him. Okay, and now we have McCarthy. He can whip them in. That's a brilliant cross to the back post, but Beckford was on his heels. He does manage to use his pace to keep that one in, though. That was a lovely cross. Needed someone on the end of it. It's Isaacs. Now McCarthy again. Jamaicans recycling possession very well after that cross from McCarthy. Still in possession. Now it's back with the defense. It's like That's what you like to see with teams. A nice drop of the shoulder there from Lamar Walker to get by his defender. That's what you like to see with teams when they make a play and it doesn't result in a shot or a goal. The key possession, shot from distance from the Mar Walker is dragged wide. I 
a shot coming there at the end of a long spell of possession for the Jamaicans as the more walker saw a bit of space in front of him and had a pop that one dribbling just wide of the goal harmlessly well, as I was saying before you like to see when teams recycle possession when they make an attacking move forward and it doesn't result in a, in a goal or a shot and that's possession one back really well for the Jamaicans it's Vassal in a very good position brilliant last ditch tackle it does fall to Beckford now cuts inside on his right foot closed down very he's closed down and the shot is prevented but Beckford stays down I think he was caught there but the referee says it was a clean tackle it was inside the box but uh, there are no appeals for a penalty so I don't think anyone thought there was much wrong with that challenge seems to have been caught on the fall stays down also down is the Bermudian player who made the tackle brilliant last ditch tackle that as Beckford was winding up for the shot inside the 18 yard box Beckford is back on his feet now after receiving treatment Willie Clemens who also has to leave the field of play after receiving treatment who made that challenge both teams down for bo both teams down to 10 players momentarily nice move to skip past the challenge there by Jordan Fletcher that one doesn't find the cut of Vassal as it's intercepted Vassal running back to make the challenge but he's shrugged off by the number 19, Reginald Lamb. Vassal finds Jordan Fletcher. Fletcher turns, has a look up and sees the run of Beckford wide. Plays it out wide. Beckford waiting for support. And it does come in the shape of Lamar Walker. Nice drop of the shoulder again there from Walker. Very nimble player. Talbot finds the boot of Fletcher but can't Fletcher can't find the boot of a, a player in a goal top but it breaks to Peter Lee Vassal to so Lamar Walker on the top of the area he does find Fletcher Fletcher on his left foot shot from Fletcher and it's the opening goal for the Jamaicans expertly dispatched by Jordan Fletcher who was set up on top of the team by Lamar Walker Goalkeeper Bell sprawling to his left to try and keep the one out, but even at full stretch, he couldn't get anywhere near that one. Brilliant finish from Jordan Fletcher, who puts Jamaica up. One goal to nil against Bermuda in this international friendly match. With moments left in this first half before halftime. <laughs> The Jamaicans kept knocking at the door and eventually found a way through this Bermudian defense. And it came courtesy of the Mount Pleasant striker, Jordan Fletcher. Bermuda trying to respond before this halftime interval but the Jamaicans win back possession and they're urged to go forward again by the fans fans want to see another goal before halftime <laughs> nice ball around the corner there from Thomas and it's into space for Lamar Walker 
Peter Lee Vassell. Again with Jordan Fletcher. Nice move inside. Fletcher on his right foot. Oh! Fletcher almost at the brace. He's feeling it now. Confidence flowing through his veins after that opening goal. And another lovely move from Fletcher. The dummy on his left foot to set it up for the shot on his right foot. And the, the shot just going wide. Goalkeeper Bell didn't have a prayer. If that one was on target, it would have been 2-0. Strong tackle there, but it's Bermuda still in possession. Nice flick over the top from Lamb. It breaks into the box to Smith. Smith is surrounded by Jamaican defenders, and he wins a corner kick for his team. Dante Smith wins a corner kick for his team in the dying moments of his first half with his team trailing by a goal to nil. Can Bermuda find the equalizer before the halftime whistle? This one floated in. They go up and away comes Akeem Chambers with possession. He tries to send away Lamar Walker and he, it's given away and it's taken first time by the Bermuda and that one sails over the crossbar but could have been costly that one from Akeem Chambers who goes down now seems to be favoring his right ankle so there's a break in play he'll be receiving some treatment just a few minutes away from halftime and Jamaica leads by a goal to nil in this international friendly match between their Caribbean neighbors, Bermuda, courtesy of a left-footed strike from Jordan Fletcher. That goal coming after he was set up by Lamar Walker on the top of the area. Very clinical finish. It's worth noting that a few more fans have been filing into the stadium throughout this first half. When you look across the stadium into the bleachers, it's a decent crowd. And when I look down from my commentary position here in the grandstand, I also see a very decent crowd. So nothing stopping the Jamaicans from coming out to support their beloved reggae boys. referee acts for that freak to be retaken it's sent along by Talbot but position is given back and it's Lamb trying to find Smith just now but it's intercepted by the Jamaicans and now Peter Lee Bassel can steam forward he's in prime position to play in Kamar Beckford is behind him but he recovers well still Beckford finds Peter Lee Bassel this one shaping up nicely oh a brilliant Oh, that was brilliant play from Peter Lee Vassell. A disguised pass to play in Jordan Fletcher, who got the shot off with a brilliant save from Taj Bell in goal for the Bermudians. And he keeps them in this one. The score remains 1 0. What a lovely pass that was from Peter Lee Vassell. When he opened up his body, you thought he was going to have the shot with his right foot. And he just disguised a lovely reverse pass into the path of Jordan Fletcher for him to have a clean shot through on goal. He slipped while taking the shot but still got still generated a lot of power on that one. But Taj Bell was equal to the shot and the score remains 1-0 here in the dying embers of this first half. It's Bermuda in possession deep in the Jamaican half. And a chance to swing this one in, headed away by Kevon Isaacs, and it falls to Peter Lee Vassell. 1 2 with Andre Clennon, still Peter Lee Vassell. Oh, he just passes the ball so smooth and silky. Lamar Walker trying to play in 
Andre Cannon there, but it's intercepted by Bather in the, the dump, the Bermudian defense. My apologies. As they try to come forward, clearance is completed by Ricardo Thomas. Strong tackle by. As a strong tackle by Andre Clennon on Bascom, but the referee says it's a fair challenge as well. Bermudians retain possession, however, as they still search for an equalizing goal. But the referee draws the first half to a close here. And after a very exciting first half, it's the Jamaicans who lead at home by a goal to nil against Bermuda after a strike from outside the box by Andre Fletcher to get the Jamaicans up and running. A brilliant strike after he was set up on the top of the area by a pass from Lamar Walker. So the Jamaicans go into the halftime break leading by a goal to nil as they continue their preparations for the World Cup qualifiers later this year. An impressive first half from the Jamaicans. A lot of chances fall into both teams, but it's the Jamaicans who go into the break with the lead. Stay with us as the second half promises to be just as exciting, if not even more exciting. So the teams are back out at the beginning of the second half here and it looks as though we'll have a couple of changes for the Jamaicans at the beginning of this second half. There's a change in goal and it's Dennis Taylor who replaces Akeem Chambers in goal. So a change between the sticks for the Jamaicans. Akeem Chambers out, Dennis Taylor in. And another change up top as Andre Clennon makes his departure. And he Andre Clennon being replaced by number 18, Colorado Murray. As we get this second half on the way, Jamaicans in their goal tops kicking from right to left in this second half. And it's Bermuda who start brightly, winning or throwing deep in the Jamaicans' half. Nice move here. Oh, and he manages to win a corner kick for his team. That was good play there. Bright start this from Bermuda in the second half. As they trail Jamaica by a goal to nil. Courtesy of that strike from Jordan Fletcher in the dying stages of the first half. Let's see how they responded in this second half. They had a few good chances in that first half themselves. Let's see if they can capitalize on this corner kick. one swung in dangerously and that's held very comfortably by Dennis Taylor that will do well for his confidence first touch of the game good work from Peter Lee Vassell that's a nice drill to pass but it's just behind Colorado Murray good work from Vassell to win back possession 
first place. Well, it comes out to Lamar Walker. Nice touch to take that one down. It's Ricardo Thomas on the overlapping run. It does go to Ricardo Thomas. Now it's with Kimar Beckford. Just over dribbles that one and loses possession. Now Bermuda can come forward. Clemens to Bascombe. It's number 13 in the middle of the park for Bermuda. Uh, <laughs> really tidy on the ball. Has some vision as well. You can see he's the orchestrator for them. Calling players and pushing them, telling them where to go, where to make runs and spreading the passes. Jamaicans need to do more work to close him down. That is to try and stifle his creativity. Very tidy player. Keep your eyes on him in this second half. That the number 13 for Bermuda. Asagi Basco. Jamaica doing well to re retain possession after being put under some pressure by Bermuda. Bermuda applying a very high press. It's Talbot. A slip from Isaacs. Bermuda is in. Shot. Lovely save from Dennis Taylor. That one was going in. Dennis Taylor makes the save to spare the blushes of Kevon Isaacs after a slip in midfield. To be fair to him, it was a hard pass to control into the midfield. I didn't make it any easier by him slipping. I let Bermuda in, but it was Dennis Taylor to the rescue with a strong hand low down to keep that one out. And it's another corner kick for Bermuda. That one swung in, has good shape on it, but it's just a bit over hit. He'll keep this one in on the far side, though, but he's closely watched by two Jamaican players. It's Lamar Walker and that Dale Ritchie who come across to make the challenge on Jalen Bather. And it's another corner kick for Bermuda. Really adding up these corner kicks. They'll want to make them count now as they trail by a goal to nil. And it's the orchestrator coming across to take this one, Osage Basco. Takes it short, it's swung in to the back post and it's met, oh, brilliant connection. That was a sweet connection at the back post. And another lovely save from Dennis Taylor who has been very alert. He's had a lot of work to do since coming on at half time and he's done so brilliantly, but this one might break. For Peter Lee Vassal, gets the cross in, but it's mopped up. Brilliant passage of play that. Bermuda with the chance at one end, and Jamaica with the lightning quick counter attack. Still Jamaica, and it's Jordan Fletcher with good feet. Back to Jordan Fletcher. Now he finds Isaacs in the midfield. Isaac spreads it wide to Thomas. Thomas has. Kemar Beckford, but he goes inside and opts to find Lamar Walker. Isaacs now looking for the dink over the top of Peter Lee Vassal. Lovely pass, lovely control. Still Peter Lee Vassal. That one just got away from him after a few good touches, but couldn't get it under his spell. So it's a goal kick to Bermuda. The second half has res the second half has resumed, and the both teams have just picked up where they where they left off with the intensity of the play in the first half. I mean, I've been re very impressed with the tempo of this one. Doesn't feel like a friendly match at all. Very high tempo and both teams not making a lot of, Jamaica made two substitutions at the break. Bermuda haven't made any, so it hasn't really disrupted the flow of the game. Now Jamaica can come forward. Kimar Beckford spreads it wide to Colorado Murray. Beckford in the middle. Peter Lee Vassal on the far post. Now it's Lamar Walker. Walker to Kemar Beckford. Beckford wriggles away from the challenge. Spreads it out wide looking for Fabian McCarthy. Now Lamar Walker just floating around. Dinks it in. Up goes the defender and he makes the clearance. It was Jalen Bather who got his head to that one. And... 
crucially so as Kemara Beckford was waiting for that one to drop on top of his head gleefully in the six yard box. Good clearance from the Bermudian defender, but it comes at the expense of a corner kick. Swung in by Peter Levas. It's a good one. That one whipped in at the near post. Cleared away. Still with Jamaica. That ball back in looped high up into the air by Fabian McCarthy. And it's claimed gratefully by Bell. Jamaica win back possession. It's with Peter Lee Vassell. He's the playmaker in the middle of the park. Oh, almost slipped through Jordan Fletcher, who's already on a goal. Came close for a second. And it's Peter Lee Vassell. Winds up for a shot. Faints. Plays in Colorado Murray. Murray tries to whip it back in, but it's blocked and it's off for a corner kick. Peter Lee Vassell really finding his groove in the middle of the field now. Playing with confidence. been that creative spark for the Jamaicans in the midfield so far this evening. Coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore using this match as an audition, if you will. Cross comes in. It's met by Kemar Breckford. He's appealing for a handball in the middle. He will drop to Peter Lee Vassal who swipes at it. And it's still in play. challenge comes in and he goes out for a throw in but there's a player down it seems to be I think that's Jordan Fletcher over there seems to be in a, some degree of pain after making that challenge just to go back up a bit to that earlier chance that fell on top of the area for Peter Lee Vassal he had all the time to to measure his shot but he just didn't get the right connection and it skewed off of his boot going back even earlier than that the chance for Kemar Beckford with the header that was blocked Beckford was adamant that that one came off one of the defenders hand but the referee waved it away no penalty okay and play resumes with Bermuda in possession and as I was saying earlier or Coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore using this game as an audition really for many of these local players who have been in good form for their local clubs. Such 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 players, you know, the likes of Kemar Beckford, Lamar Walker, Johnny Talbot, giving them a chance to try and clinch a spot in Jamaica's regular side for the World Cup qualifiers to follow later this year, beginning in August, as Jamaica aimed to qualify for Qatar 2022. So, lots of players trying to impress here today. It's one of the standout players so far, no doubt, would have been Jordan Fletcher, who got that opening goal. has been playing with confidence, getting chances and making himself a nuisance. Peter Lee Vassal has been impressive as well. Haven't seen as much as of Lamar Walker as we would have expected, but still some time for him to make a real mark on this one. Al Cross comes in. Goalkeeper was concerned about that one for a minute, but it floated over the bar and onto the top of the net. Another player who has been in very good form is Kemal Malcolm of Arnett Gardens, currently on the bench. No doubt he'll be hoping to get a chance at some point in this match to prove that he's got what it takes to make it at this level. It's Walker. Nice touch. And he 
barged into the back. Did the Bermudian play on that occasion. Clemens went right through the back of Lamar Walker. And it's a free kick to the Jamaicans. Another substitution being prepared here for the Jamaicans. And it seems to be Peter Lee Vassal who will be, be departing the field of play. Not a bad shift from Peter Lee Vassal who is currently without a club. Would have done himself no harm with the performance he put in here today. He's replaced by number 22, Jashawn Angling. Jashawn Angling making his senior debut for the Reggae Boys here today. Another player being given a chance to make a claim for a regular spot in the Reggae Boys senior team. This one breaking to Kemar Beckford. Comes inside, has a run off Lamar Walker on the right and Jordan Fletcher. And spread wide by Kevon Isaacs. Cross swung in by Fabian McCarthy. Cut back, falls to. Oh, flicked over. Oh, nice bit of play that the acrobatics. But the goalkeeper playing a bit of basketball with the ball there before getting it under his control. It was lovely work from Kemar Beckford. That tried the acrobatic finish. Goalkeeper had to be alert. It all started with that. Deep cross from Fabian McCarthy from the right hand side. Bermuda survived that attack. Oh. That one going over the top of the head of Ajani Talbot and also John T. Smith. But luckily for Jamaica, it went right through to goalkeeper. Taylor, who has been impressive since coming on, had a few saves to make early in the second half to keep the score at 1 0, and he's managed to preserve Jamaica's lead. Not doing his case any harm as well as it relates to staking a claim for a regular spot in the Jamaica team. They've done it a lot of good, actually. Talbot got a bit too tight to Clement just now and fouled him as he tried to roll the defender from Harborview. Talbot and Richie have been very solid in the center of the defense for Jamaica so far. And Captain Fabian McCarthy has been very adventurous getting high up the field to support the attack thus far, putting in a few crosses few dangerous crosses as well. Ricardo Thomas of Waterhouse also venturing forward on occasions to support the attack and they've been solid in defense. Coach Theodore Whitmore could be pleased with what he's seen so far. Nice link up play there from the Bermudians on the top of the area and the shot comes away. But nice pressure from Angling to make sure that it wasn't a clear shot on goal. And it goes high and wide. Couldn't prevent the shot, but he made it difficult for the attacker. Sometimes that's all you need to do. That was a free kick to Bermuda, but play quickly restarted by them as they trail and we can see them showing a bit of urgency. Lovely run this from Jordan Fletcher. And he has the run wide. It's Colorado Murray. Defender is getting back. Now he tries to find Jordan Fletcher. He does. Back to Murray. It's with Anglin. Has the run of Fabian McCarthy wide. Can he get another good crossing? That's a dangerous one. Took a bounce right in front of Bell, but well held by the custodian. When Fletcher released Colorado Murray out wide, you just felt that he should have bursted into the box. Kind of held up the play and gave the defenders a chance to get back, and the momentum kind of left the Jamaicans.
see some more movement on the Jamaican bench. Someone else soon to be given a shot at glory here in the Montego Bay Sports Complex in front of these adoring Jamaican fans. That one clipped over the top. I thought he, I think he went a bit too early though. And the flag does go up. Offside. Just to call from the link of Super League Talk taking place on Sunday on the 15th at West Palm Park, Tiki Bay United versus Guadalajara at 3 p.m. So it's a substitution for Bermuda. Bermuda making two substitutions. Jamaica with one. And it's Siobhan Marsh who replaces Lamar Walker for Jamaica. And number four and number two come in for Bermuda. That's number two, Chikosi Basden, and uh, number four, Paul Douglas. So Bermuda making their first couple of changes. Jamaica making their fourth change in the second half. So the change is coming in now, which is expected, this being a friendly match. Let's see if it will affect the throw of the match. As play resumes with Bermuda in possession. Just a reminder that Jamaica still need to keep up their good form following the CONCACAF Nations League. They had a successful League B campaign. Currently ranked tops in the top six of CONCACAF. Ranked fourth. They need to be in that top six when the World Cup qualifiers come around in August. To be in the hexagonal round of qualifiers. Which will make it a lot easier for them to qualify for Qatar 2022. So these international friendly matches actually do count a lot in their quest for qualification because these matches do affect their FIFA world ranking. Talbot being put under some pressure there and in turn puts it out of play. You see Bermuda putting on the pressure higher up the field. Putting the Jamaican backline under pressure. Applying the high press causing them to turn over possession. Bermuda back in possession now as they search for that equalizing goal. Jamaica still leading by a goal team courtesy of that first half strike from Jordan Fletcher. This one is attack Peters out and it's with goalkeeper Dennis Taylor now. Jamaica can calm down the play and start an, an attack of their own. Dennis Taylor opts to go along with that one. Colorado Murray goes up and does win the header. Flicks it on for Kemar Beckford to chase. Beckford has been very lively this afternoon. Had a chance early in the first half. That went close. It's Siobhan Marsh coming on his, on his left foot. Anglin cuts it back. Nice move. Still Anglin. What a shot. That one whistling past the right, upright. Anglin with a nice move to create some space for himself and he let fly. And that one looks like it was arrowing into the top left-hand corner, but just wide. Goalkeeper just stood and watched. I don't think he was getting to that one if it was on target. What a goal that would have been for Anglin on his debut. <laughs> A 
aimless pass sent forward and that one will go into go out for a goal kick for the Jamaicans Ball sent high into the night sky. Up goes Colorado Murray who wins the flick on. But Bermuda win back possession. It's with Bascom. Hasn't really had that much freedom in this second half to, to influence the play for his side. Jamaica getting closer and closing down the spaces around him. You can see Jashan angling closely attending to him anytime the ball is near him like now it's Colorado Murray putting on the press seems as if he's been marked man for man now they have realized his potential to create danger you see him just floating around trying to get the ball into some space gets the ball now tries to spread a pass he's their creative player and if Jamaica can manage to stifle him they would have really disrupted the flow of Bermuda's game. Managing to do that thus far in the second half. The ball being turned over frequently in the middle of the field now. It's Ricardo Thomas who wins back possession. Jordan Fletcher tracking back, trying to play through Siobhan Marsh, but it's intercepted. Strong tackle that from Kevon Isaacs, and the referee says too strong. It's a free kick to Bermuda. Anglin just standing over that one, preventing it from being taken quickly. Now Jordan Fletcher follows suit. Referee says, too close. Step back. Crucial intervention there from Ricardo Thomas as that was looking like a very... Siobhan Marsh. Siobhan Marsh feels as if he was clipped just now before the ball left his boot. He looked behind him for the, to the referee, saying, referee, no free kick. Referee says, no, continue playing. That one flicked on, but no one making a run. So he goes out of play off the head of Blankenda. That one was off the head of Brangman, rather. Collision there between two players. This one falls to Fletcher. Fletcher driving forward. Angling finds Marsh. Marsh is stands up to the challenge. Now it's with Fabian McCarthy. Angling. Throwing to the Jamaicans, and it's Fabian McCarthy who will take this one. Jamaica still searching for another goal that would double their lead. That one into the box. It, it's on the top for Jordan Fletcher now. That one. Not sure if he was going for the shot or across, but turned out to be neither in the end as it goes out for a goal kick. Isaacs. It's with Richie now. Richie plays it into the midfield. Nice touch from Beckford and it's flicked on to Anglin. Fletcher had the run off Ricardo Thomas, but he opted to go inside. It's back with Ang Kemar Beckford rather. Marsh now. Nice ball out to Colorado Murray. Can he get the, he needs to get the ball into the box. Shifts it wide. Swings it in. It's cleared, but only as far as Jordan Fletcher. Breaks on his left foot and he Oh, got underneath that one. It broke for him on his favored left foot. 
we always knew he was going to take the shot but it didn't come off the way he planned it in his head on high and wide nice passage of play there from Jamaica but the end product lucky Lamb. It's Lamb coming forward now. Now it's with Bascom. Back to Lamb. Lamb with a nice drop of the shoulder. And he finds Clemon. It's Smith rather. Bascom rides two challenges and manages to win the throw in for his team. Bermuda preparing three substitutions. It's number nine, John T. Smith, who will leave the field of play. Also leaving the field of play is number three. Eusebio Blankendal. Liam Evans has come on for Bermuda as well as Kishan Bean. Goal scorer Jordan Fletcher will make his departure. Good shift from him and a well taken goal. He's replaced by number 21, Kemal Malcolm from Arnett Gardens, who gets his chance to make his mark here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex. It's a good looking cross, well dealt with by Siobhan Marsh. Strong tackle from Ricardo Thomas on. Paul Douglas. Across to take this corner, or his strain rather, is the number two. Chisiko Basden is robbed of possession by Siobhan Marsh. Look at Basco. He's the engine in this team. Jamaica do manage to bypass the press though. Carter Thomas sending that one downfield and it's headed out into touch by number 16, Tazekio Harris. Substitution for Senegal, number 21, Kevin Malcolm, and skin for number 11, Jordan Fletcher. Nice ball that over the top. Can he keep it in? He does get there. Cross comes in. And it's that man, Ajani Talbot, there again to mop up the danger. Very commanding defender, very vocal as well. Makes a clearance and right away he's directing his teammates around him to get in position for the corner. Good bit of defending. But now Jamaica have some more defending to do as Bascombe will whip in his corner kick. It's up, curling away. Dennis Taylor comes and claims. That one actually went out of play. Curling in, curling out and in. So it's a goal kick to Jamaica. It's taken quickly by Taylor to Ladeel Ritchie. Flicks it over to Ricardo Thomas. Ricardo Thomas put on a pressure immediately. And I think that one came off of the Bermudan player. Bermudan player did come off of him. It was beaten. 
Jamaica takes it hastily and manages to give back possession but Bermuda not making the most of the possession as Jamaica quickly close him down and win back possession now it's Jamaica looking to come forward Marsh looking to flick that one around the corner but can only find a Bermudian player Talbot blocking off And it's a yellow card to Johnny Talbot. The second, he's the second Jamaican player to go into the book this afternoon. And can't have much complaints about that one. Blocked off the player after he had gotten past him. So it's a yellow card to Talbot. And Jamaica have a free kick to defend. It's the orchestrator who will take this one. Bermuda trying to be clever with that one, but it didn't work out the way they practiced on the training ground. Now Jamaica putting them around a lot of pressure. Eventually win back possession. And now it's Jamaica that can counter. Lovely pass from Colorado Murray to send Kemal Malcolm. Brilliant pass in. Oh! What a brilliant counter attack! You love to see it! And look at the celebration! Lightning quick counter attack! And the crowd goes into a frenzy! It all started with Bermuda overplaying. It all started with Bermuda overplaying their, their free kick. Played themselves in the trouble. And that brilliant ball to send Kemal Malcolm away from Colorado Murray. Kemal Malcolm with the one time cross. And I think it was Kemar Beckford at the far post to finish it off. It was just an all around brilliant move. And in the aftermath of that goal, Johnny Talbot, who picked up a yellow card, is replaced by number three. I think Talbot was replaced by Sean Laws, the number three, so he slots into the fence alongside Adele Ritchie. But let's talk some more about that goal from Kemal Malcolm. I mean, it was just a brilliant team goal. Kemal Malcolm arriving at the far post to slot home a brilliant cross from Kemal Malcolm, which resulted from a brilliant through ball from Colorado Murray, which resulted from a brilliant sequence of pressing from the whole Jamaican team. So an all-around brilliant team goal. Wonderful stuff. And it's 2-0 to Jamaica in the second half. And they're in here again, but that one just has a bit too much on it for Colorado Murray. You love to see it. That's why you like to see football being played. And I, I think the coach Theodore Whitmore will be very pleased with that sequence of play from his team. Flag up on this near side and it's offside. Just a side note, both goals coming from Mount Pleasant players here today as the local boys are being given their chance to shine. 
Jordan Fletcher of Mount Pleasant in the first half and Kemar Beckford of, also of Mount Pleasant in the second half. Mount Pleasant were in red hot form in the Red Star Premier League currently, sitting just a point behind the leaders Waterhouse. Bermuda have it all to do now, a mountain to climb, 2 nil down, time running out, away from home, and Jamaica have the momentum and the wind behind their sails, but they're in possession, they have that going for them, let's see what they can do with the ball now. Bermuda almost playing their way out of trouble there. But it's a late challenge on Kemal Malcolm right in front of the referee. The referee dipping into his pocket and it will be a yellow card to Willie Clemens. Just a bit of frustration seeping out there. As it's not really going Bermuda's way at the moment. It's a late challenge that results in a deserved yellow card. McCarthy back to Laws. Laws plays it back to Dennis Taylor in goal. Taylor will go long looking for McCarthy, but it's intercepted. Does fall to Andin, who is put under pressure. A challenge, and it's McCarthy who comes to provide a bit of help. McCarthy goes over the top of, and he will break to Siobhan Marsh. Marsh can play in. Oh, that's a good interception. Marsh was looking for the run of Kemal Malcolm. Good press from the Jamaicans and Marsh wins it back. Siobhan Marsh, the Cavalier captain. It's with Colorado Murray. Looking for Kemal Malcolm, but it's intercepted. Good closing down there from Murray to... Start the clearance, and that one goes out for a throw in. Pass cannoning off of Bascom. Bermuda. Searching for a goal to get back in this one. They need to find one soon if they're going to mount a comeback. An unlikely comeback that would be, because at the moment it doesn't look like. Doesn't look like that would be the case. But you never know in football. That's why we love this game. It's so unpredictable. It's a throw into the Jamaicans. Kevon Isaacs trying to dribble his way to trouble and he's clipped. It's a late challenge. I think we're seeing these challenges being made as a result of frustration by the Bermudian players. Kevon Isaacs was dribbling his way into trouble there and they were getting numbers around him. And a late challenge came in, I think, but purely out of frustration, kind of bailed him out. Willie Clemens picking up a yellow card. 
We have just about five minutes of regulation time left as McCarthy will swing in another corner. That one goes deep. Malcolm at the back post. Oh, just couldn't connect with the header. Fabian McCarthy has been, has been brilliant on that right flank for the Jamaicans. Playing at right back, getting up the field and putting in some peaches of deliveries. Been stout in defense as well. Not a brilliant delivery on that occasion, but Kamal Malcolm couldn't make the connection on the far post. The wing play has been very effective for the Jamaicans this evening. Really stretching the Bermudian defense with those diagonals and balls into the channels. Whipping in the crosses behind the defense. Causing them all sorts of trouble. And now that the Bermudians are trailing, they'll have to come out even more. Or well, as a hand goes up into the face of Colorado Murray, but the referee doesn't is he either he doesn't see it or he doesn't think there's anything wrong with that one. But Dale Richie is fouled. Kemal, or Colorado Murray rather, is still down clutching his face. Now he'll receive some attention. in play players just taking a moment to rehydrate themselves and catch a breath it's been it's almost at the 90 minute mark it's been a lot of it's been a high intensity game they said you know it's a friendly match but it's been played at a really high intensity so a lot of energy being exerted so no doubt there will be some tired legs out there Kemal Malcolm is through here. Oh, Kemal Malcolm hooking it with his left foot. After a brilliant break, he almost was through on goal. I, th I think he was aiming to steer it into the far post. Turned it out to be almost a cross, but... The player arriving on the far post was too far away to make the connection, but Kemal Malcolm with a brilliant chance just now. Couldn't finish off. Brilliant chance of uh, Kemal Malcolm in Jamaica to put this one beyond reasonable doubt. That would have been a brilliant cameo for Kemal Malcolm if he could have finished off that one. Already getting an assist since coming onto the field. And it's Ricardo Thomas who is down for the Jamaicans uh, near the halfway line. Not sure what exactly is the problem. I think it might have been an off-the-ball in incident. Probably a bit of fatigue setting in. A very tough player is Ricardo Thomas. Doesn't shy away from a challenge. Always goes in full-blooded. He's back on his feet now, and that's a good sign. Seems as if he'll be okay to carry on. Time just ticking away now. Which he, with each passing second, the task becomes even more insurmountable for the Bermudians. That was a decent looking cross into the box, but Turned out to be too close to goalkeeper Dennis Taylor. And the danger is snuffed out. So 
Jamaica launch it upfield again. Jamaica haven't really taken their foot off the gas, looking to get a third goal and put the icing on the cake with this performance, which has been very effective, entertaining, and very promising for the local reggae boys. They haven't disappointed their coach here today, and a lot of them have staked their claim to have a regular spot in the regular side as we draw closer to the World Cup qualifiers later this year as we make a seek to book their spot in Qatar 2022. No doubt some of the players that have standed out. I've been impressed with Dennis Taylor who has come on in the second half in goal for Jamaica. Jordan Fletcher had some had his moments in the first half. Took his goal very well growing confidence as the first half went on. Peter Lee Vassal had his moments as well. Didn't have the best game, but you saw flashes of his quality. As I said, he's not currently with a club, so you know the more he plays, the more he'll get back to his best. And you see the quality there still. Kemal Malcolm has been a brilliant introduction. He's been electric since coming on, providing that assist and almost getting a goal himself. Tamar Beckford as well, doing very well, grabbing himself a goal. Giving Coach Theodore Whitmore some food for thought when he has to pick his next team. And that's the type of problem that coaches love to have. Oh, mix up there for Fabian McCarthy tried to take that one down in his own box, but he was closed down quickly by Willie Clemens, who put him under pressure and eventually won the corner for his team, taken quickly, and it's Bascom that tries to swing it in, and it's right into the face of the Jamaican player who goes down. The referee blows the whistle, but it's the final whistle. As Jamaica dispatch of Bermuda by two goals to nil in this international friendly match here at the Montego Bay Sports Centre in Catherine Hall. The goal scorers, Andre, that's Jordan Fletcher rather, in the first half, and Kemar Beckford in the second half, to put it beyond the Bermudians. It's Jamaica winning by two goals to nil. Very impressive performance. This one, a very, a very good performance for the Jamaicans who continue their preparations as they continue to fine-tune their squad going into the World Cup qualifiers. Coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore giving the players a run. That's the local players, rather. And I mean, I don't think he's been disappointed here today. Some very good performances some good football being played and some good goals as well well taken goals again the final score here Jamaica 2 Bermuda nil. that's it for us here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex I've been a match commentator Lance White for JFF TV the home of reggae football signing off until next time